Blog Talk Radio. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony G. Tony Green. I'm Tony Green. Okay, so on Monday, I went to do my show, and I could not get into Blog Talk. They were having technical difficulties, and so I decided to come on today and do a second show of the week, because Monday's show was a full YouTube show. Oh, my God, that was a full-on hot. Woo! just trying to keep up with the comments of everybody asking questions on um, YouTube and they come in um, kind of quickly and that was interesting to say the very least. But I like taking my callers. So if you are watching on YouTube, please call in um, 8455. Two seven seven nine one three one, and I'll be happy to take you and um, answer your question or help you connect to a loved one uh, via the phone log. Okay, if you do have a question and you're watching on YouTube, you can put the question in the chat section, and I will try to get to you also. So. Um, my name is Tony Green, and I'm a psychic medium and a channel, and I am the author of seven books. This show will air on WSCS. It will air on um, Rude Rangers TV, Rudy Radio, um, and all the podcast stations. So if you're asking a question, please make sure your question is somewhat appropriate. I say somewhat because it's okay if it's a little inappropriate, (laughs) just not really inappropriate. (laughs) So, hey, Matthew, happy birthday yesterday. I hope you had an amazing birthday. Um, So, um, Okay, since Matthew tapped in and his birthday was yesterday, we're going to do a special clearing to start off the show because I like to do clearings during the show. So, Matthew, this is for you and your birthday. Um, All of our chakras are open, in alignment, and receiving. And I get a no on that. So we're we're going to clear that. We're going to start clearing that. I'm happy you had a great uh, birthday, Matthew. Um, So for those of you on the call log, um, here's what I'm going to tell you. When I call out your area code, please um, give me your name and your uh, where you're calling in from. And then have a question or a connection um that you would like to make and please uh, if you if you want me to help you connect with a loved one from the other side um give me their name and their um relationship to you just so i don't have to fish through the energy i don't do the tell me who's around me uh question because everybody pops in i start seeing everybody just everybody everybody it's a party I said Monday on the show it's it's like a um it's like a college kegger party. You pay your five dollars at the door and you come in and everybody's there but nobody knows each other except for nobody's five dollars at my door to get in. Ha 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 ha. Um so please have a question or a connection ready for me. Please take your phone off of speaker when I say your area code because the background noise can be a bit much um, when we're doing this. Remember, it is being aired on several TV stations, so I'm trying to have the best audio possible. Okay, I'm going to go to the first caller, and the first caller is 480. 
Hi, hey, this is Mike. Hey, Mike, where are you calling from today? I am in Arizona. Oh, perfect. Love Arizona. Yeah. Been to Scottsdale a couple times, uh, climbed Camelback and the other one. Don't yeah, Camelback is amazing. Oh, my gosh, yes. But, you know, in all honesty, um, when you're hungover early in the morning. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, in my in my 40s, I could go up one side, down the other, back up, and back down from where I started. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's an hour of lunges uh, with that hike. That's, that's absolutely a workout. Yeah, oh, my God. And it's beautiful. When you get to the top, yeah. it's so worth it. So, hey, listen, everybody, everybody who's watching, re-watching, listening, re-listening, if you get to Arizona, if you're around Scottsdale, absolutely get the camel back. And I was, I'm going to tell you, Mike, I was so embarrassed at times because here I am, I'm going up and I'm, I'm struggling. I'm like <gasps> trying to breathe. And little two-year-olds are like, what, <laughs> like what's, what's your problem? <laughs> Women in sandals. Um, in, like I remember this Indian family, like India from India, family passing me. She was in her long dress and her sandals, holding it up with one hand, just like cruising right by me. Her little kids cruising right by me. And all I could think is, what is wrong with you? These children are flying by you like nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's for sure. I love, I love that. I love that place. Yeah, it's it's amazing. It's just it's it is extremely beautiful. A great place to visit. And uh, if you can do Camelback, which apparently even two year olds can do it, so yeah, <laughs> go do it. You can do it. It might just take you a little longer than the two-year-old, but hey, right. at least you did it. That's all that counts. You have to get, if you get to the top, who cares about anything else? How many exactly. Kids and and <laughs> even at Christmas, at Christmas time, somebody takes up a Christmas tree uh, up at the top, and then you take pictures with a Christmas tree at the top of Camelback Mountain. Stop it. Okay. That's yeah. my December. <laughs> okay, anybody listening that wants to go to Camelback with me in December, let me know. Let me know. Put it in the chat. Let's do that. Okay, Mike, where, what, how can I help you today? What do you want to ask? What do you want to know? Who do you want to connect with? Yeah, so right now I'm, I'm thinking of a move. I mean, I love Arizona. Um, uh, you know, and so forth, but I'm just, I'm missing water. Um, so I'm curious, I'm thinking either, uh, I lived in California for a few years. I have really good friends in LA. Um, and I'm thinking about just even my background is sales, but I've also been in hospitality. So I'm thinking about just going, uh, to LA, uh, wait tables and bartend, and then, you know, eventually connect into something uh, more professional. And then Florida's on the radar as well. Or maybe I'm just staying pat here in, in, in Arizona. Um, I've got a friend moving to Tucson. You know, so it's just one of those things where I'm just kind of looking for a change. And I was just kind of curious on, you know, where that energy might be uh, uh, leaning towards. Because ultimately I want, I want for the biggest opportunity to make the most money while, you know. Okay. Yeah. So you know, like business-wise and things said- like that. Yeah, uh, that's amazing, and I love when people aren't afraid to get up and go. Like, we're put here to be free. We're put here to um, to just, like, explore. And if, we're, if we don't have, like, a, a family unit that keeps us planted someplace, to be able to do that, get up and go, is amazing. So what the first thing when you said, I'm thinking of relo- a relocation, I heard, do it, just do it. And then, but before you said your places, I was hearing Florida, Florida, Florida. Now, sometimes I'm a little partial to Florida. I really like Florida for a lot of different reasons. The second place I heard was Texas. Now, California didn't really hit the radar as far as what I was hearing. Um, But you do have friends there. But... The, I think even though California has started 
reopening, I don't think there's as much I, I, they're using the word prosperity, free prosperity going on there right now, okay? So mm-hmm. if you want to really do the best for yourself as far as uh, financially making that big hit, I hear Florida. Now, being in sales, uh, now Florida, obviously, they're saying you're going to find things right away. You'll be able, depending on where you land, um, you'll be able to hit the ground running, okay? In Texas, some of what I'm hearing, and I have been to Texas, it was a, a long, long time ago. Um, what I'm hearing about Texas is um, you'll find work that will pay more, and they're you know, there is the, what is it, the coast of Texas that you could be on. And I feel like, though, I feel the the position you would get in Texas would be a more serious position, a more, um, I don't know why I'm getting this, but um, like not high end, but a more serious sales position, like, I don't know, something they're showing me like the oil like the things in the water that are the oil things in the water. God, I, I'm really showing my public school education right now. Um, the, the, you know, <laughs> I don't know what they're called. I'm so sorry. But I feel like it has something to do more with the sales um, in some way on that end of things. But there would be a lot of other opportunities, even if you didn't want that opportunity. Okay, now have, having said that, I'm going to tell you, either place you go, you will land very well as long as you hit the ground running. You can pre, uh, like pre-plan or pre-get there, pre, like before you get there, start putting things out. And I feel like in a couple of places you will already have something Mm -hmm. set up by the time you get there. Now, if you go to California, I hear it might be, even though you know people there and you have connections, I'm hearing it will be a little bit slow going, especially in the beginning, and it might be just a touch of a struggle. Um, And here's, here's what I'm getting, but again, free will, free choice, you're going to be okay no matter where you go. What I'm getting is you want to land someplace where the money's been flowing for a minute, okay? So California just started flowing their money, right? They just started reopening. They just started everything. Florida's been open for a while. Texas has been open for a while. Um, so the money's a little bit more free-flowing. People are a little bit more comfortable with what they're doing at this point. They're, they're not in that, is it safe mode, you know? So what I'm yeah. hearing is those are your strongest places, even though you didn't put Texas on the table. They are. Um, and and the coast of Texas, I, I've not been to the coast of Texas, but I think it's it's really beautiful. Um but if you're if whatever you decide you're going to end up okay uh one way is just going to take a little bit longer than the other way it's just going to be a little bit more slow going than the other way but you can't go wrong because you have this um you have a uh, energy about you that is like you know, you're just going to get up and go, and you're going to make it work regardless of what's going on around you. You're going to find the right place at the right time and hit it. I feel like that's the energy that they're saying that you have. Um, But for the biggest bang for the buck, um, financially, in a sales job, it would be Texas. For the biggest bang in the buck, to have the most, and you would have a lot of options in Texas also, um, as far as uh, anything that you do, um, and also Florida, it'll just take an extra minute in 
Um, it'll just take an extra minute if you decide to go back to yeah, 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 uh, California. California. But it will yeah. Yeah. It'll eventually, but it will eventually work out, and it will all fall into place. Now, if you stay in Arizona, everything is going to be good. You're still going to um, be, be moving forward in the same way you have been, and there's going to be actually a um, up spring, an up list within, definitely within six months, but within a month and a half, I feel like something in Arizona will take off for you and you'll end up like bringing in a little bit extra. Okay. So that's Mm -hmm. what they have for you, which is not, it's not like that one solid answer, but that's because you're very versatile and you have a lot of things you can do and a lot of options on the table, which is really good for you. So no matter what you do and what direction you decide to go in, you're going to be a-okay. It's going to work out perfectly for you. I hope this was helpful, even though. Yeah, no, it's absolutely fantastic. And and I have thought of, Oh, and I have thought about Texas, but I just didn't really vocalize it out there as a as an option because I know it's you know Texas will Texas is a, even during the crash of '08, Texas economy was still going up when everybody else was you know thirty forty percent decrease. So yeah, I mean yeah. Texas is a pretty much a no brain economy wise. Yeah, and I'm getting even though Texas and Florida have been flooded with people coming from northern states down to the southern states, I'm getting there's still so much resilience and so many possibilities there. I'm getting that the – the um, when, if you go to Texas and you land where there's – and it, I think you're going to know what this means, old money, yep. um, you're going to do really, really well, really well. I mean, you might even be end up, like, if you don't do sales, you could end up in a country club where it's just stack on stack on stack. Um, very well, very good. Or no matter where you end up, it's just going to be good because they really, they're very resilient and the money just keeps, it just flows like the oil. That's what they're saying. <laughs> Their money just flows like the oil down there. So, or over there, for me, it's kind of over there rather than down there. For you, it's over there also. So if you end up there, um, you can't go wrong. However, if you want if you just want to go back to someplace where you're familiar, someplace a little bit comfortable, you can go to California. If you do, don't get a place. I think you have to couch it at a friend's house for a bit because I don't, oh, that's okay. It's- if you it's funny. No, no, no. It's funny that you say that because a friend of mine, she lives, um, she's an artist and she lives in a meditation center in LA. And so it like rents like 800 bucks. <laughs> I'm going to so tell it's super you, cheap. if you go there, if you, I feel like, and I could be wrong and there's free will and choice and you're very resilient. Um, I feel like if you go back to California, you're not going to stay. It's just, yeah. The statement I'm getting for you personally, it's not the same as it ever was. So you yeah. end up back there from nostalgia, but you get back there and you're like, holy guacamole, what the fudge sickles. Um, <laughs> and you, bounce, <laughs> you end up bouncing very quickly to a new location. So I would say your three strongest places, your three strongest choices are Florida, Arizona, or Texas, you'll really prosper in any of them. Um, So if you really want something new, new, brand new, and Texas has always felt like I wonder, you can try that or Florida. But if you stay where you are, I feel like in a month and a half, things are going to kick up speed where you are also. Awesome. 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 Excellent. Yeah, I, I, I align. I, I don't align, um, you know, politically at all with California, but I love the beach, so I'm willing to, you know, in that well, sense. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> if any, 
anybody aligned with California politically at this point, I really right. would be <laughs> surprised. I don't align with California politically at all either. I'm a, I shouldn't say it. I'll probably lose like 20 calls if I say my political views right now. Yeah. You'll, think you guess what? They, they can go cry in a corner. I don't, yeah. <laughs> Because yeah. I just walked right now. <laughs> oh yes, yes. So before you, before I end the call with you, I'm gonna do a clearing on um, being stuck. For you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening, I'm gonna clear. I'm gonna test. We are stuck. I get a yes. Let's clear that. Oh, and this can be in any area of your life. This can be like being stuck in finances, being stuck in relationships, being just stuck, just getting to that next personal level for yourself, getting to where you want to be personally, like with working out body or whatever it is, money, um, it's all of it. It's running the gamut because I believe if we're stuck in one area, there's a chance we're at least a little bit stuck in every area. So we're clearing being stuck so the floodgates can open and we can move forward into the life that we want. And having said that, I'm going to say we're running forward with all that life has to offer. And I get a no, so we're going to clear that. That is a lot of energy coming out, folks. Uh, So when I do these clearings or healings, I also feel it, um, and I always release your breath so if I'm like it's like me climbing camelback like I can't get my breath again (laughs) so there we go now I did these clearings if you're on YouTube I did them right around the 20 minute mark so you can go back to YouTube or move forward to YouTube right around that 20 minute mark and watch these clearings or get these clearings again and again sometimes Some folks, you get this, you watch this once, and it's good, and you're solid, and you don't need to get that clearing again. Other times, um, you know, we're really, really stuck. We're deep-rooted from something in childhood. We we never know. But um, I always say it doesn't hurt to do it again. It's not going to take anything good. It's just going to take whatever's in the way. And if you want to direct it to loved ones, let's say we just know somebody who's having financial issues or is stuck, we can say, okay, I'm going to send this clearing to so-and-so. So not only for yourself, but for anybody also that you love, you can direct any clearing on any of my shows to anybody you love. Remember, it's the angels, the Holy Spirit that goes in and takes out whatever is safe and comfortable for that person to to, to let go of at that time. And having said that, let me add, if there's something we really, really, really believe we need because it's protecting us, um, it's going to take a couple more listens to let that go, okay? So I hope for you, I hope it gave you some insights to a direction that you could go in or that would be good for you moving forward or opened a new a new um pathway for you in some way mike awesome yeah no i you know again it's it's definitely with either here or going east so um which is texas and florida so no i appreciate it you know and again it's just a matter of making the decision and, uh, you know, finding that position that I can just jump into and, like you said, you know, kick it, <laughs> get it get it going. Yeah, hit the ground running. And I do feel like if you pre-plan, you're going to find yep. some positions before you even get there, you may be hired for something, especially if you're looking for that sales position, that's a high payout position. I feel like it has something to do with oil. And it's going to be in that Texas area. It'll be like a very high payout area for you, okay? Awesome. But you'll be good no matter where you land. You're going to do very well. Oh, like a cat, always land on my feet. (laughs) Absolutely. And keep those nine lives in your pocket, right? (laughs) Exactly right. (laughs) Thank you so much. (laughs) You're so welcome. Tell time. Um, but yes. if you stay on, be doing more clearings, a 
and healing. So you'll get the benefit of that also. Um, I'm going to go to the next caller. But before I go to the next caller, I'm going to switch over to YouTube. And I'm going to look at some of the questions on here. Oh, there's so many people coming in and saying hi. Hey, everybody, if I don't say your name, please don't um, be upset with me because it's going pretty quickly over here. So hi, um, everybody on uh... – oh, okay, so a lot of people want to know if they're going to get married. A lot of people. Thank you. Yeah, I have three elephants. So um, – I think it's Sierra, uh, Syria, Sierra. Um, I, I'm horrible with names, but um, said she loves my elephant in the background. I have giraffes too. I'm a weirdo like that, but yeah, they're one of my favorite things. I would never, of all the things, I would get rid of my couch and my TV before I love my giraffe. An elephant call it's ridiculous okay so you want to know having a single happy marriage you want to know if you're going to get married once and if it's gonna if it's um gonna be happy um well the the answer i'm getting which is not the best answer is you take you wherever you go so no matter who you're with you'll be happy if you're a happy person you bring your perspective your your thoughts into it i feel like you are going to get married i feel like it is going to be a good marriage the happiness part depends on your expectations and your beliefs about marriage is what they're saying so let's um Let's, you know what I really want to clear is expectations um, because expectations will ruin things so quickly for anyone and everyone. If we have expectations of other people, um, we're never surprised. We're always in that place of feeling entitled or owed to, and nobody can live up to our expectations. We can't even live up to our own expectations. So we have expectations of others. I get a yes. We're going to clear that. And I also want to clear, um, because so many people, for everybody on YouTube asking about marriage, I'm going to I'm gonna do a clearing for you um, that uh, you're ready for a healthy, loving relationship. I get a no, so we're going to clear that. Because... It's not, it's, it's like everybody wants the marriage. Everybody wants that day, that big wedding day, that person. But we're, not, we're sometimes so caught up in wanting that, that, how do I say this? We're not, um, we're not thinking about the person themselves what we're trying to uh, bring in as far as a partner, and we're not thinking about really uh, if it's it, it, uh, – can I use my words instead of my sound? <laughs> uh, we're not thinking about if we have the right person coming in because we just want a person to come in. And it's just as important to bring the right person in with the right energy. And in some countries, they still have arranged marriages. That doesn't mean you can't put out into the universe that you want somebody who is a really good, energetic, and love match for you. It's really important to focus on that as much as everything else. Um, everybody on Blog Talk, please stay on the line. If you're watching on WSDS, you can see the rest of this show on YouTube or Rude Rangers TV. I have a YouTube uh, station, Tony Green Psychic Medium. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch me on WSDS. Until the next show, thank you so much. Now I'm going to continue. Because um, the, the WSDS show is like 28-ish, uh, 30 minutes. So now I'm going to continue with blog talk. So blog talk, hang tight. And 
uh, YouTube hang tight. I'm not going anywhere yet. If I can get to a question, I will get to your question. If I miss your question, please don't scold me. I was first or whatever. Please don't scold me in the comments. I can't even, if you, I, I first of all, <laughs> I have to lean so far in to read these comments and names. So please uh, be be patient with me in, in reading them. Vinda, arranged marriage does exist in your country. Please may I ask, when will I get married? Roughly which year, if possible. Okay, so again, here's I know in some cultures that is still such a big thing to to um to get to when you're gonna get married and who you know here's what I wanna say. Vinda Focus on the energy of the person you're bringing in, whether it's arranged or not. Focus on the energy of that person. I want you, when we're just focused on the wedding itself or the year or the time, we, it might, it might not be what we want, first of all. So focus on bringing in the qualities of the person that you want so that can come in for you. That's that's what I'm getting for you. It's so important to focus on the qualities of the person that you want over the, the when. And I know in some countries, especially where they have arranged marriages, it's really important for that marriage to happen within a certain period of time. So for you and the others who are asking about when will you get married, I'm going to do a clearing. There's something stopping or blocking them from marrying the right partner. I get a yes, so we're going to clear that. So it opens up the, the pathways for the right person with the right energy for that kind of, I don't believe in, I kind of believe in destiny. I do believe there are things we're destined for here, but that person, that's the right person for you to come in because that's really important. Um, just as important as marriage or a wedding is the right person coming in. Oh my God, the, qu the questions are coming fast and furious on Facebook, folks. Um, are you aware of the vaccine shedding? Who? Okay, so for you, the person asking about the vaccine, I'm aware of, of a lot more than most people are on the vaccine. Um, and it's a very touchy subject. It's a very touchy subject, and I don't want to lose my YouTube channel. So I can only say so much on air. And I have to remember, there are a lot of people who um, who are way on board with the vaccine uh, so that we can get back to the new normal. Okay. Here's what I'm going to tell you. Vaccine shedding, how can I not be affected by the vaccine? People, I get cramps frequently when I go into stores and I stay away from people. Okay, so for you, first name, last name, I'm going to do for you, everybody listening and re-listening, um, and this is anybody who knows will know why I'm doing this. Anybody in the know, and when I do this, if you're in the know, just in the chat section, put yes if you're on YouTube. Um, our DNA is strong, resilient, and can fight off anything from anyone or any product. And I'm getting a no, so we're going to clear that because that is the most important thing, whether we have had the vaccine or not. And some people have had to get the vaccine for their work. Um, so I'm not going to shame anybody for getting it or not getting it. So, but we have to have a very strong DNA. Our immune system is strong enough to handle anything or product 
that comes our way. I get a no, so let's clear that to a yes also. Okay, thank you, everybody. People on YouTube, I'm going to go back over to Blog Talk right now. If you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. If you are on Blog Talk, please go to my YouTube channel and subscribe because, like, Monday I couldn't get into Blog Talk. And I could only do um, YouTube. So if you're watching on any venue and you want to watch me live, because, well, <laughs> who wouldn't? <laughs> right? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, <laughs> oh, just go ahead and go to YouTube and watch, watch me live. I'm going to go to the next caller who is, I think it's eight, let me, let me see. I think, it, I think you're 847. 847, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hi, I'm calling from New York, and my name is Maribel. Hi, hey, Maribel. How can I help you today? Um, I wanted to ask a question with regards to this guy that I've been talking to. Um, we recently lost communication because there was, like, um, a little bit of disrespect going on, and so I kind of cut him off. But at the same time, I still want to reach out to him. So I don't know if it's necessarily a me issue or if it's, like, um, something oh, to no. it. It's, uh, a, it's a he issue. Do not ever doubt yourself. I'm going to tell you something. It is a he issue. It is not a you issue. It is a him issue, okay? Um, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I know I cut you off there, but I just wanted to clarify that quick and solid for you, Mirabel. Okay, what's your, what, what else did you want to say about that situation? He's kind of like, you know what? Okay, I want to let you finish, but somebody from up above is like, <laughs> he's a straight up jerk and you just don't know it yet. He was just starting to let his his jerky come through. <laughs> like he was just starting to like drop little parts of his true personality. Now here's I've read this, I've heard other speakers say this. You know, for the first three months, it used to be three months, you're you're really meeting the person's ambassador. Okay, you're really mm -hmm. meeting the person, and and we do the same thing. We show up on our best behavior. We have manners. We're not burping in front of the person. Um, <laughs> we're showing up as that, like, oh look at me, I'm the perfect girl. Oh look at me, I'm the perfect boy. And then around the three month mark, we're like, okay, we can get a little bit more comfortable now. I'm gonna start to burp in front of him. I'm gonna what whatever it is. <laughs> Us, right um and we start to see the real person but lately with all the getting comfortable through texting and social media it it really that timeline sometimes is like within a month we start to find out who the real person is which is good because we're not as invested he is a 100 percent um he is a, a he's just jerky he's a he's a Somebody up there is just calling, and this is funny because I would never call this to a person because I have strong, <laughs> personally, in my personal life, I have much stronger names I like to use, but he's a jerky turkey, okay? He is, uh, he pretends to be a lot of things he's not, you're not missing out on anything um, except for a lot of second guessing yourself, like you've only been talking to this dude a little bit and you're already second guessing yourself and if you're right or wrong. That should never, ever happen in a relationship with anyone. Never, ever, 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 ever. If you're second guessing yourself or if this was appropriate or not, ooh, no, no. You stay strong. You know what's respectful. If, if you, okay, if at this, there, there are like five sentences I want to say right now. If at this <laughs> point he's behaving this way, imagine what it's going to be like at the six-month mark and the one-year mark. At, imagine. Oh, no. Um, right? And thank goodness you recognized it with a quickness and you were able to cut, like, just be like, yeah, no. 
I'm going to tell you, I'm going to give you the answer to the more important question that you did not ask. When am I going to meet a good guy? When am I going to meet that guy? Uh, somebody who is respectful, somebody who has character and integrity. So I'm going to do it again, folks, because everybody in the chat, everybody on, online, um, I think, even if we are in a relationship, we want it to be healthy and loving. But if we're not in a relationship, we want to bring in that good match. That, so I'm going to say uh, we are attracting three loving, respectful relationships. And I'm getting a no, so we're going to start clearing that. And for those of us who – and that can be like friends, family, partner. Now, the next thing I'm going to go into for a clearing or a healing is, um, oh, Maribel, do you have a bit of me <laughs> in you? Because, like, I used to attract players all the time. Yeah, So the next clearing, I do. Is, yes, right? Oh, they're so, <laughs> that energy they carry is so charismatic. Okay, let's do this. Um, I attract healthy, loving partners into my life because there are men and women listening and watching. I attract healthy, loving partners into my life. I get a no. We're going to clear that. Okay, so Maribel, what I'm going to tell you, in about a month and a half, you're going to meet some within Within a month and a half, remember, time is fluid. Um, if you sit on your couch, unless you want a pizza delivery guy, you are not going to meet the person within a month and a half, <laughs> unless they're breaking into your house also, which we don't want that guy either. Nope. Done. Yeah. Nope. Um, so I feel like there's an event coming up in about a month to a month and a half, in the four to six week mark. You have to go to this event. I feel like there's a potential to meet somebody there, but even if you don't meet somebody there, you're going to meet this person. And at Maribel, I'm hearing work event, work event, work event. Now, a work event, let me explain this, can literally be like a meeting, a work meeting, a, a Zoom conference. It can also be you're at work and it's a normal day, and this is the event that happened, the work event that happened, is that you met this person. It doesn't necessarily have to be an out. And it can be, and a work event can also be for everybody listening who, you know, if I say work event in the future to you, it can be you and a coworker go out to dinner afterwards. That's a work-related event, and you meet someone. I feel like in four to six weeks, within this four or six week mark, um, I keep hearing a month and a half, but I always give it a little more time. You're going to meet somebody that is really very good for you. I'm hearing higher up. Now, this can mean somebody who's a little bit uh, like higher up in the company, supervisor, manager, owner type person. Now, if they're not, don't say no. Give it an opportunity. I feel like this person is very, very respectful. I think they have – the person I'm seeing now, if this is – and, again, if they don't fit this exact description, don't say no, okay? Mm -hmm. I feel like they have dark skin, I've, uh, olive skin, black hair. See them in a suit, which would tell me they have a professional career, or you're meeting them at an event where there might be a suit. Now, again, if they don't look like this exactly when they show up, this might be an image of them from like three years ago. Don't say no. Take, you know, explore your options. I, you know, one thing I say with, re there's there so many things I say with relationships. If you are single and someone wants to talk, it doesn't hurt to talk. You find out a lot about what you want, what you don't want. You, you understand red flags a lot better if you're talking to several different people. Not that I'm encouraging talking to several different people, but that's the one thing. The second thing I say is if you wouldn't go into business with this person, don't get into bed with them. If they don't show mm -hmm. up 
as a person that you would 100% start a business with. You would trust them to your cash register. You would trust them to show up and do the job. You would trust them ethically and character-wise character, character wise, in a, with character to help you build this business. Don't get into bed with this person. because And this goes for men and women. Because if they're not going to be a good business partner, they sure the heck are not going to be a good relationship partner. They're not. They're just, they're not. If they don't have the character, the ethics, and the, uh, the, the beginning, uh, what's needed in the beginning of a relationship to start it clean and healthy, it's going to be like that. It's going to just get worse. So ask yourself those questions when you're talking to somebody. Would I go into business with this person? Would I hand over the keys to my business? And most people that I talk to that are in a relationship that's dysfunctional or they're unhappy, I said, would you, would you have, when you met this person and you started to get to know them, would you have ever started a business with them? They're, without even thinking, their answer is, oh, God, no. Why, why did you let them up in your house? Why did you let them in your bed? Why did you let them, you know, if, if you don't trust this person enough with your, your livelihood of your work or your business, then do not get into bed or on the couch or in the car and want, want with them, okay? <laughs> oh, I feel like Got a puppet. Hoo-ha, wah-wah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my that's my adult vocabulary, folks. Thanks for joining. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right then. I hope this was helpful. I really love that. Like, Thank you so much. You are so welcome. I want to hear back from you in about a month, month and a half, to see where and how this is going for you. Okay, love. Okay, you will. Thank you. I hope. No, thank you. Have an amazing rest of the day. Stay on the line if you can, because I'm going to continue to do clearings and healings. And who knows who's going to call with an answer to another question you may have. I'm going to really quick go over to YouTube, and I'm going to look at if there's anything I can quickly answer here. And I'm not going to scroll all the way up to get um, to see what people have asked prior to this. I'm really sorry. Hey, Jay Lynn, hello. Um, everybody who said hi, hi, love you all. I'm going to go to, hi, Tony, is it possible? All right, guides to say what will be the, oh, God. Okay, and again, um Here's what I'm going to say um, about everybody asking about their future partner, um, their birth month, the year they're going to get married. That timelines can be very flowy. And um, birth months can be very you know, actually, I'm going to tell you, I don't like to say a specific because if I say a specific and the person that shows up doesn't have that, that just means this person has the potential to have a birth month of June, Radha, I think your name is Radha, 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 uh, Gupta, Gupta. I'm just going to call you G because that's what's easiest. Not to be disrespectful, please don't. I, I would rather call you Gupta or G than mispronounce your first name. Um, I'm here in June, May, June, but I'm going to tell you, please don't hold to that because we don't know. That might be a possibility out of a couple of different possibilities that you choose. You have free will. Um, know that. But I'm hearing June, and then I kind of hear May, so maybe it's June closer to May. But when the time comes, you'll know. And again, if they're not born in May, June, but everything else is in place, go for it. Don't let that stop you, okay? Um, 
okay, Jay Lynn, a permanent job. Jay Lynn, where are you located? Um, I shouldn't. You 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 probably are thinking I don't need that information, but for some reason they're they're asking me to ask you, where are you located? So Jay Lynn, if you can tell me where you're located, um, when are you going to get a permanent uh, a permanent job? You know what? I'm going to start a clearing right away. There's something stopping or blocking Jalen from getting a permanent job. We're going to clear that for you and everybody else. Uh, uh, the best possible employment and job is coming to those who need it and want it now. I get a no on that, so we're going to clear that. Um, Atlanta. Okay, thank you. I was picking up East Coast for you. I don't know why, but Atlanta. Okay. So you're in Atlanta. When are you going to get a per permanent job? Okay, there's going to be an opportunity coming in this week, and you're going to feel very optimistic about this opportunity. Now, when they say this week, it could mean within seven days. I'm going to give it 14 days just because I like to do that, to be on the safe side. Um, I feel like this opportunity is going to come in. It's going to seem like a really good opportunity, um, but right behind this, first opportunity, there's another opportunity that's going to be so much better and be everything you're looking for. So here's what I say to this. If the, go for the first opportunity. If it's offered to you, take it. But keep options open. Don't say that's it, this is it, I, I have this opportunity. If something comes in right on the heels of that, please, by all means, investigate it. Because I feel like once you have this next opportunity, it's going to open the floodgate to other things coming in for you and other um, work opportunities coming in for you, okay? I'm going to go back over to Blog Talk and go to uh, 904. Hello, 904. How are you today? Um, this is Patty in Florida. Um, I just wanted to, I've been applying for several jobs, and I just want to see if you see anything coming through um, that would be suitable for me. So. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no, good. Uh, and again, I just did a clearing, and that is at like the, um, if you're on YouTube, uh, it's or on Blog Talk, it was right around the 50 minute mark for um, the perfect opportunity coming to you. So please go back and listen to that again and again um, to clear out anything that is stopping or blocking that. What I'm going to tell you is within a month, you will be. What they're, the term they're using, and I don't know why, but they are, within a month you will be gainfully employed. You will have work. They're asking you to look outside of your normal box of what you normally do and to be open to whatever comes your way. Now, I want, for some reason, they're, I've said this several times on my show, and for some reason they're asking me to repeat this. My mom had her nine to five, and she always did, she always had another job beside that. At one point she bartended while she was putting herself through college and had five kids at home. At another point when she started working, she was doing her nine to five, and then she was waitressing on the weekends, and the money kind of evened out. I mean, what she was making 40 a week, 40 hours a week, and what she was making on her night waitressing, um, it evened out, and one of them was cash. Just saying, folks. Um, so what I would say, what they're saying, and then, of course, I've said it several times. My mom had several things she did on her own. She made uh, wedding cakes mm -hmm. on the side for people. So what they're saying to you basically is you're not looking at all of your skills and assets and leveling up. You are looking in this box of what you've always done or where kind of you're looking in this box, but there are other boxes you could check 
that would open up other possibilities for you, okay? So they want you to just be open to looking at, and that doesn't mean waitressing or baking wedding cakes. That's not what that means at all. What they're saying is you have a lot of different talents that you're not thinking of and a lot of different skills that you're not thinking of as talents and skills that you need to get a little bit more creative with your resume and with your uh, job searches. Now, I do feel like within a month you'll be gainfully employed and you will enjoy where you're going to be. It will not be your permanent answer. It will be your temporary answer. And then in three to six months, I feel like you are going to find something that you feel is a better fit for you that you um, that you go with, but whatever comes in within a month, take it because it's easier when we're making uh, when we're in that place to keep going in that space. Okay, I hope this right. is helpful. I'm gonna another clearing on um, the right the right job, the right career, the right position with the right amount of money and the right and the the best coworkers, the best money and the best coworkers is coming to us now. I get a no, so we're gonna clear that to yes. And again, please listen to this ten times today if you feel like you need to. And that should be right around that fifty six, fifty seven minute mark. Um and if you need to listen to this ten times today, please by all means Listen to it 10 times today. Listen to it once a day. Come back and get these clearings and these healings. And the next thing I want to clear, because I feel it so strongly from both um, YouTube and from Blog Talk, is we're kind of in struggle and survival mode. And I get struggle, I get no. Survival, I get yes. But I'm going to clear both. Um, So we're going to clear that because when we're in that space, we get that at, when we're carrying that energy of survival mode, we end up in a job where, or a career or a relationship where we still feel that. So let's get that survival mode out of us and get it to um, thriving. So that's the next one I'm going to say we are thriving and I get a no, so we're going to Ooh, we are going to clear that. And on that one, I really want to do um, either wealth or unconditional love. So those of you on YouTube, tap in. Do you want me to clear for wealth or unconditional self-love? I'm going to give that a second. Um, and the first person that taps in on YouTube to tell me if they want wealth or unconditional self-love, that's what I'm going to do. And if nobody taps in, I'm just going to go with my instinct of unconditional self-love. Because um, I have 90 seconds left, folks. Okay, well, okay, thank you. We're going to do well because somebody tapped in on well. So I am in the energy and flow of wealth. Oh, somebody else tapped in for wealth. Yes, I love my people. (laughs) I love you so much. I am in the energy and the flow of wealth, and I get a no on that. I am on the frequency of wealth and abundance in every area of my life. I get a no. Let's change that to yes. My, My wealth switches are on. I get a no. Let's flip them to yes. I am receiving. Receiving, I get a no, and let's clear that to yes. Now, if we're not in a place where we can receive without feeling that we owe, we're not going to get that, okay? So please, at the 57, 58-minute mark on YouTube and Blog Talk, that's where the wealth healings start. Come back and listen, re-listen as many times as you need to, want to for updates, I just want to say thank you for joining me here for this hour. I'm normally on every Monday at noon, but I'm going to try to squeeze in another day. So subscribe so that you know when I pop on. I love love each and every one of you. Don't forget, it's your job to create the miracles in your life. If you're not creating your miracles, you're living somebody else's. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Till next time.
拜拜。